have a look at the next question. The question, it's a sequence and series based chapter. So you'll find some logic here. It says consider the sequence of real numbers x1, x2, x3 such that xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus n minus 1. n is more than or equal to 1. x1 has been given to you as minus 1. x100 has been asked. So the value of x1 has been given to you as minus 1. Now, if I have to find the value of x2, x2 will be what? x2 will be x1 plus 2 minus 1 x1 is minus 1, so it is minus 1 plus 1, which will become 0. Let's go for finding the next value, which is x3. x3 will be x2 plus 3 minus 1. x2 is coming out to be a 0, plus 2, the next term will be 2. Let's go ahead. The next term x4 will be how much? Will be x3, uh, will be x3 plus 4 minus 1. x3 is 2. 2 plus 3 will come out to be as 5. Let's go ahead again. x5 will be x4 plus 5 minus 1, which is 5 plus 4 coming out to be 9. So minus 1, 0, 2, 5, 9. These are the values which I'm able to find out. Let's check one more value, x6. x6 will be x5 plus 6 minus 1, which is 9 plus 5 coming out to be 14. So all these values is what I can figure out now. Now, if I substitute all the values right from x1 to x6, which let's see how do, what do I get? If I put down all the values here, I'm getting the terms as minus 1, 0, plus 2, plus 5, 9, 14, likewise. These are values of x1 till x100. I need to find the value of x100. Do I see terms like minus 1, 0, 2, 5, 9, 14 in AP. I do not see that. But if I check the difference, difference here is plus 1. Difference of these two terms is 2. Here it is 3. Next is 4. Next is 5. What do I see? I see the difference of terms. I repeat, the difference of terms is in AP. The terms are not in AP, but the difference of these terms, x1 to x100, are in AP. I have to find the 100 term. The difference between each of the conservative term is going up, up, up by 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So x99 till x100 also you will see the jump of 99. The difference between the last two terms x99 and x100 will certainly be 99. That's what you can find out. First and second term is 1. Second, third term is 2. Likewise, 99 and 100 will also be 99. Uh, it, it's going to go up by plus 99. Now let's see the logic. If I have to find these terms, which is x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, likewise any of these terms. Now my first term, my first term is minus 1. My first term is minus 1. If I have to find the second term, well, what I have to do is add the first common difference, which is minus 1 plus 1, 0. If I have to find the third term, my first term is minus 1, add the sum of first two common difference, which will be how much? 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 will become 3 and the second third term will become 2. If I have to find the fourth term, start with the first term minus 1 and add the sum total of first three common difference. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 minus 1 is coming out to be as 5. That's what you're getting. Which means if I have to find the value of x symbol, I repeat, if I have to find the value of x symbol, take the first term which is minus 1 and add all the common differences right from 1 till 99 because 99 will be the last term. 99 will certainly be the last term. This is the value of x symbol here. Now 1 to 99 will basically be in AP uh, which is given by n by 2 first term plus last term. First term is 1, last term is 99 and there are how many terms? There are 99 terms. I repeat, there will certainly be 99 terms. So my final answer will be 99 divided by 2 into 100. 99 into 50 will make the value as 4, 9, 5, 0. Add minus 1 to it. My final answer should become 4, 9, 4, 9. And hence, the answer for this question will certainly be option number 1. A beautiful sequence series based question. I'm sure you have cracked it well with some beautiful logic also.